Hi church, welcome to part four of our Roman Road series. Uh, part three, we talked about how God demonstrated his love for us, even though we were his enemies. Um, and today we're going to be talking about how we begin to trust in Jesus as our Lord. Um, in Romans 10 verse 9 to 10, it says this, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. There are two key verbs that we can see here. The first one is believing. This speaks to our trust in Jesus. The second is declaring. That speaks to our surrender to Jesus. See, it's in our heart that we actually believe and receive salvation, but our mouth counts too. Our faith requires a declaration. It's in us declaring and believing in our heart that we actually have the fullness of salvation. Our actions matter. Our declaration of our faith is the external expression of our internal belief in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. What you do now that you believe in your heart makes a difference in how you put your trust and your surrender in Jesus as Lord. Faith is not just internal, it's external. It requires us to have our trust and our surrender partnered together. It's our faith that actually starts to bring action into our deeds where people can see the belief in our heart come to life. It's the combination of these two things our belief, our trust in Jesus, and our declaration, our surrender to Jesus, that we get the confirmation of our salvation. Not the method of our salvation, the confirmation that indeed we are saved. I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, and so I'm saved. When a man and a woman come to get married, they both believe in their heart that they love each other. They have this declaration on their wedding day that they love each other. Throughout the course of their marriage, however, they must partner that belief and that declaration with action. They must show to each other in how they live their life that they do indeed love each other. It's the same as our relationship with God. We say that we love Him. We say that we trust Him. We say that we're surrendered to Him, but it must be followed up with faith in action. We need to be living a life that shows God that Jesus Christ is our Lord and that we trust Him and we're willing to surrender to Him, letting Him permeate every aspect of our life, that we live a life of trust and surrender in the way that we have faith in action. Church, I hope this has blessed you today and you feel empowered to put your trust and to surrender to Jesus Christ as Lord. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you have given us free access to salvation. We thank you that we can come to you in this space to learn more about you and your love for us. Jesus, we thank you that you have placed yourself as our Savior and as our Lord. And right now, we choose in our hearts to declare and to believe that you are our Savior and you are our Lord, and we choose to have a life transformed by that. I pray that as we go out into our days, that you would empower us with the knowledge that we are saved indeed, and we would live a life with faith in action. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, church.